Welcome back guys, Todd here. So just 48 hours after posting my Neo SD review, the Neo SD team reached out to me with an updated firmware. I don't believe this firmware has been publicly released yet as they asked me for my Neo SD serial number and the update file they sent me has my serial number in the file name. Perhaps this is their way going forward they'll distribute the firmware updates. It's not clear yet. Either way, updating the firmware is dead simple. Copy the UPD file to your micro SD card and then insert the card into your Neo SD and power it on. You'll be greeted with this on-screen message indicating the current firmware and the new firmware version. Pressing the A button begins the update. This takes approximately 40 seconds, but I've sped the video up to save time. Once completed, your Neo Geo reboots and drops you back off at the Neo SD menu. Filters and favorites work in this new firmware version. I don't want to spend a lot of time on them, but they're worth talking about. Clicking the C button will cycle through different genres or favorites depending on what is shown above the D button. Click C button once will switch to genre mode. Click it again will switch to favorites and press it once more to exit back to the main game menu. Speaking of favorites, it's super easy to add favorites. Make sure the D button says favorite above it and pick a game from the list and click the D button. It adds a little heart beside the game on the right hand side. Now when you click the C button twice, it will take you to the list of favorites. There's also a new feature in the updated BIOS. If you hold down the C button, up will pop a menu that allows you to change the sort order of the games on the list. You can cycle between name, year, or developer. There's also an option to hide bootlegs. Enabling this will hide all games that are labeled as bootlegs. I've tested this and it works pretty well. I do have one minor complaint about this, however. I would like to see this function reassigned to something else or perhaps a series of buttons. I've found it way too easy to accidentally hold the C button when switching to favorites and have this menu just pop up on you. Okay, let's skip to the good stuff, game loading times. I tested five different games for the purpose of this video to evaluate flashing times both before and after the firmware update. I selected both smaller and larger games to see if the decreased flashing time scaled with ROM size. Right off the bat you'll notice that smaller ROM size games like Magician Lord and Nam 1975s didn't change at all. The updated BIOS had zero effect on the load times. Moving on to Polestar we start to see a difference. There was about a 12% loading time decrease under the new BIOS. Looking at an even bigger game like Metal Slug X, we see a similar decrease of low times around 12%. And finally we have King of Fighters 2003. This benefited from a nearly 25% decrease in load time. Now your mileage may vary on individual load times depending on speed of your micro SD cards. I'm using a cheap 32GB memory card from Micro Center. It was literally just $10. I was hoping for even shorter load times, but we'll have to see if the Neo SD team can squeeze any further performance out of it in the future. As it is, I'm completely satisfied. Well folks, that wraps it up for this quick little video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that like button and leave a comment below. I'd be interested to hear what you think of this firmware update. Does the quicker flashing times for larger games now make it a better value and possibly something you'd consider purchasing? Or is it still too expensive compared to a couple multi-carts? What's your take on it? As always, thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next video.